Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. And I'm Lunchbox. And uh, it's kind of holiday season for us. Uh, don't know when you'll see this, but when we're filming this, it's our holiday season. And this is the Shiner Holiday Cheer. Holiday Cheer. Now, when I first started this channel years and years ago, uh, myself and Clayton, we did this against something else. But right now, we're just going to have it because he's never had it. And nope. I really like it. But I ain't scared. <laughs> um, the holiday cheer. Forgot. You don't need that. You just twisted it right off. Um, Made in America. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is Shiner, and this is one of their. Um, this is a Dunkel, which part of the reason we got this for him is he's a Dunkel fan. Now, because this Dunkles. is a German Dunkel, which. What other kind is there? <laughs> now, exactly. But this is a Texas Dunkel. Now, uh, Texas... It don't look no bigger. <laughs> exactly. Now, the deal is with these, uh, this has peach and pecans. And Let all grow... That, that is peachy. Yeah. <laughs> it's now, peachy. Texas grows a lot of peaches and they grow I mean, a lot of pecans. look at that I like that. Well, I mean, that's a Dunkel. Big bubbles. You could probably wow. put a beer cap on it. And you lost it. You got to drink it to get it back. <laughs> I'm going to drink it. That's all right. Mmm, smells peachy. Mmm, it's sweet. I'm not even going to jump around. I love this stuff. Well, that's like Christmas in a glass. <laughs> Yes, okay. sir. A lot of the holiday beers tend to be heavily spiced. It's not. I don't really think it's heavily spiced. You do taste the nut, and I, you do taste the peach. You know what? I taste the nut. I smell the peach. That's I why really, we have two I smell, I smell more of it, but once you drink it, then you get the, the pecan thing going on. The um, pecan thing flavor. Now, I like Dunkels. I do too. Which the Dunkelweizen, the German Dunkelweizen is, or Dunkelweiz, is a dark wheat. So, you know, you've got more of that toasted, roasted, malty, uh, but you've got that smooth feeling from wheat. I think this is a little hoppier than other Dunkels I've had. It probably is a little hoppier. But it's not like a hoppy beer. I just... Exactly. I taste a little more my 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 evolving palate. <laughs> so, um, I, yeah, I taste a little more hops in it than I do other Dunkles. Most of them are the, the thick, weedy stuff, but this is more uh, bite. It's got a little bite to it. But there's sweet. Yeah, it is still really sweet. Yeah. I think the, I think the sweet comes in from the peaches. Um I don't think it might be as dark as the other Dunkles I've had. I have had it's pretty dark. I, I have had darker Dunkles and I've had lighter Dunkles, um, but you know that's Most the ones I've had are dark. Yeah, are really dark. But a lot of the Dunkles that we've had are, are European Dunkles that I brought over for us to drink. Then you know they're those big German heavy hitter guys that you know true to the style because they invented the style. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's I think it's a good drinking beer, and I think it'll pair well with decorating food. the tree. I also think it's gonna be gonna be a it's nice a holiday beer, man. I can see drinking that with the family, like yeah. And this morning, it's, opening presents. <laughs> it's not e it's not even six percent alcohol. Five point four. You barely feel it. Yeah, I mean you could you could pound back quite a few of these and. Still not make a fool of yourself in front of the <laughs> in-laws. So, um, well, I think we've uh, kind of discussed what we taste about as well as we can. So let's get into uh, what we think. Did you dig it? Some yes, I, I, I dig really it a did. Lot. I drink quite a few of these uh, every season. Uh, would you have another? Sure. Okay. Now we go into our new system of. Uh, 
In a sixer, would you get a whole one? Would you throw some in a pick six? Like three. You would, I would put three of those in a pick six because I can see wanting, wanting more than one and sharing one. Yeah. Now, for this one, for me, I actually buy these, buy the six pack, and because you may not drink six in a row, but you want, you definitely want more than one of these beers. Yeah, I don't know if I really want six in a row, but uh, I do want more than one. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, in our one to ten... 10 being the highest, one being the lowest, what do you rate this? Um, man, I'm gonna give it like, I'm gonna have to give it an eight. Okay, I completely confer this is an eight. And, and my, I'm the seven guy, this, this yeah. is an eight. And my camera person <laughs> is saying they give it a one. They're not a fan of this one. She didn't even try it. it. Uh, <laughs> she's had it before with me. And Whatever. Didn't enjoy it, but that's okay. You know, not every beer is for everybody, and not everybody is for every beer. So, uh, but yeah, this, this is a great drinking beer. It's decent with food. You can just drink it, drink it. Um, you can float a cap on the head, but if you don't grab it, <laughs> or you bump it and push it down. You might drink it. Whatever. So, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.